Hi everyone. So I'm going to review the uh, Farm Boy Lemon Poppy Seed Muffins. Um, they do have the Canadian Celiac Association seal on the back. They are peanut free, dairy free, and also kosher. Nice. Um, they were in the <clears throat> trying to remember which section I got them in. If it was the frozen section or if it was just the gluten free stuff section. I can't remember. Uh, you get four in a box. I've already eaten one. Um, I keep them in the freezer because I find the gluten free baked goods. If you keep them in the freezer, let it thaw a little bit before you eat it, then they tend to have a little more moisture to them and not be so dry. That being said, these were a huge, huge disappointment. One, the lemon flavor, not strong enough. Um, you can barely tell that they're lemon poppy seed. Uh, muffins. The other is the texture. <laughs> Farm Boy, there's been a few products now that I've reviewed that have been really uh, miss. <laughs> and uh, this is another one to add to the list. They are so dry and crumbly, even with my little trick with the freezer, that um, they're just, it's like sawdust in your mouth. They just fall apart when you bite into it uh, yeah how much were these I think these were $6.99 for the four of them uh, if I'm not mistaken very disappointed so I don't know if farm boy is outsourcing like buying the gluten-free products from another manufacturer and you know license to put it under their name or, or whatever um, if that's the case, then they should keep looking because, uh, I've had lots of gluten-free muffins and cupcakes and, um, uh, the President's Choice one are quite, they're very nice. They're light and fluffy and moist. They're not dry and crumbly like these ones are. Um, or if Farm Boy is actually making them themselves, uh, revisit the recipe. One, there's not enough lemon flavor. And two, the texture is just off. It's just not good. I'll probably finish these because I don't like to waste food. But I'll probably try microwaving them for a few seconds, like 15-20 seconds. To see if that kind of helps soften them up a little bit. Um, otherwise it'll probably take me longer to eat them than it would for a good, uh, excuse me, my nose is itchy, uh, for a good muffin. I didn't notice if they had any other, oh, if they had any other flavors. Uh, I love blueberry muffins and I do like lemon poppy seed as well. But, um, not, not this lemon poppy seed so much. Uh, I keep looking down at the packaging because even the color is a little kind of off. They're a good size. There's nothing wrong with the size of them. But as soon as I, because I couldn't, because it had this package and then it had this over top and then it had like another plastic kind of over it. Um, so I couldn't really see what they looked like when I bought them. I probably would have been able to guess at the texture if I'd been able to just kind of look through the packaging because uh, I would have noticed some telltale signs like broken pieces that have come off uh, and that sort of thing so yeah so far the farm boy products there's a lot of new ones they've also just released eight new vegan cheeses eight so if you're a vegan person who loves cheese uh, give those a try because I know they just released them I think just this week uh, so that could be fun for, for you guys um, but as for the, the gluten-free line so far I've only had one product that I absolutely 
loved and raved about, and that was the Frosted Flakes cereal. Uh, nothing else that has been baked, so like the shorties, um, shortbread bites, the muffins, the pizza, didn't really like any of them. So I, I'm hoping that uh, they either, you know, see videos like mine or receive feedback from others who have tried the gluten-free line and um, revisit some of their formulas um, or suppliers. So yeah, so I would, I would give these a pass for the $6.99 or $7.99 that, that they were. It's not, not worth it. Get the PC ones instead. Uh, the PC ones are, are much better. Thanks.